Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of um, Grimsby Career Mode here on FIFA 18. Yes, we're back with Grimsby. Um, I hope you enjoyed Monday's episode. It's a, a very fast road to glory with Chesterfield, but with a little bit of a twist. So if you've not seen it, guys, go check that one out. It's it's worth it for you. Also, um, yeah, like I say, Grimsby, um, we're getting towards the end now, aren't we? You know, with regards to... Um, this is just basically the team that I've got lined up for the next match, by the way, guys, which is against Watford. Um, it's Danger Gerbils Watford, yes. Um, as you can see where the, we are in the league, we are one point ahead of Manchester United with seven games remaining. Yes, it is a very tight affair. Now, we could... <coughs> excuse me. We could um, do it. You know, this season it'd be great. If not, we're going to have to like fast forward quite a lot, like to get it in before um, FIFA 19 is upon us. And as far as I'm aware, it's actually come, the demo's coming out tomorrow, which is Thursday. Um, apparently, uh, that's that's what the rumours are. Nothing that's official has actually come away from like EA or anything like that. But that's what the rumours are. But that's when it's coming out. And so we'll be able to do a video on that you know for monday um my views on what the, the the demo is like you know obviously it's a demo it's not the full complete you know game it, it's just like literally to get you a taster of what's to come um with a few sort of usually with the demo it's a few friendly games and stuff like that with like six or eight teams i think you can choose from things like that anyway like sort of things so we'll have a look at that and um, see what that's like you know the gameplay and stuff like that so that'll be interesting to see on monday and um, if it does actually do come out and um, so anyway back to today's episode um uh where are we we are like i say watford is first but then we have the second leg against sporting lisbon in the quarterfinals of the champions cup we're already winning two nil in the first leg um, so can we progress through to the semi-finals of this competition which we are actually defending that's going to be today's episode guys those two games um, I then will fast forward obviously through Bournemouth Burnley um, Leicester depending on obviously how we get on in the Champions League the semi-finals are going to be dotted about probably probably around about 4th and the 12th maybe or the 5th and the 11th something like that i would have thought that's where it's going to like sit in somewhere like there um so we'll probably have those in um wednesday's episode yeah um and then friday's will hopefully be the finale um next week um or grinsby's but we don't know we really don't know Manchester United it could pip us to to the title so we'll wait and see so hopefully um they don't and Let's see if Danger Gerbils Watford is going to cause us um, some grief, shall we, um, as we take them on. Okay, so here we are live. Um, as you can see, yes, Mr. Virgil van Dijk is at Watford. Um, see him there, just in the picture. Um, yeah, it's raining here at Blundell Park, so it's going to give a bit of a zip to the to the surface. But yeah, Virgil van Dijk is at Watford. Um, let's, well, I'm going to actually like, have a quick look um, at their team. Let's have a look at Watford's team, shall we? Right, so here we go. We've got Gabriel um, up front. We've got Gabbiadini. Um, Elinusi's there. Kai Havertz. They've got some pretty good players in here, like, you know what I mean? Uh, we've got Van Dyke at the back. Zakori's still there. Benatia as well. Uh, Kostum and Baba. Yeah, so Watford have got a fairly good side there, but when, it look, when you look at it, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a pretty good side, like, so they're going to give us um, some problems. I can see it, definitely. Let's see how we get on, though. And Watford to get things off and running. Gabriel, off to Gabbiadini. Okay. In fact, that is okay. <laughs> to Virgil van Dijk. Here's Baba. Oh, Chaplin does well to intercept that pass. McKenney, crowd are happy with that. Garnier now, can he go down the line? He's got a bit of a deflection on that. But Barco has managed to keep it in, but Klosterman has managed to get it off him. Barco's got in front of him. We'll lay this back to Garnier. McKinney inside. Okay, Foden now. Cousins. Laid in here from Trent Alexander-Arnold. Smith's trying to get in round the back, but he's going to be forced back to here to, to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Cuts it inside to find McKinney. Can he find Foden? He can. He's spun him. Can he get a shot away? But Kosterman's come across and the keeper's come way out of his goal there to, to intercept that one. Cardinale. Just out, you know, when it comes to Van Dijk and Smith, Smith is going to lose that every day because of the strength side of things. It's a good chance here. Gabbiadini now. Knocks it back to Decore. Gabbiadini's found Decore, but he's hit a wild one. Definitely hit a wild one there. It's a nice, well-worked move. 
they, they definitely caught us out there. McKinney was in sort of being played around, you know, around him, and he was not able to cut it out. Use his pace. Gonna have to come back here. He's got done well. It's on his wrong foot, but it's not too bad. It's a good ball in, and Barber there was done done really well to intercept that. Chance here, Connor Chaplin. Can he get the ball through to Foden? He's on side, is he? I think he was. That'll be a corner. It's a fast-paced game, this one, definitely. Ball in, so I'll play it short here. Chaplin. He's gone to pick out. Oh, it's, oh, it's Barco. Great save from Cardinale. Okay, Garnier plays it quick. It's into Barco. Can he cut back inside Klosterman? He can. Chaplin's there. He's got a run here. Goes to the chip. Ah, oh, just didn't get enough on it. Cardinale come off his line. I thought try and chip it over him if he was a bit too close with the chip. You know what I mean? But yeah, that was our best opportunity there. Really was. But there we go. That half is flown by, folks. I'm telling you. A lot of action in the middle. Um, but you know, the, we we had a we had a great opportunity. But yeah. Fairly even at the moment, I'd have to say. Right, second half then, no changes. Um, that definitely from us, but I've not heard the announcer say anything about Watford, so I'd say it's as you were. He's going to try and use something. McKinney now knocks this in. Chaplin's got away from his marker, but what a block! What a block from Clusterman then. Just oh no, it wasn't. It was Virgil Van Dyke coming across. I thought it was actually Clusterman, but Van Dyke helped him out there. Try and whip this far side. Try and get Chaplin, but it's not going to. It's going to fall to Trent Alexander Arnold. Oh, he has got a better shot than that on him. It's a shame. He put too much power on it. Came to him, but he sort of kind of sliced across it, so it's just gone high and wide there. Gabriel now. Oh, intercepted by Fazio. Oh, Barco's done well to win that. McKinney now. Foden. Can he get it back to Barco? Barco's got him behind here. Can he pick out someone? Oh, it's defended well, but it's fallen to Connor Chaplin. Oh. oh. Damn. Puts it wide. Gaviadini's going to make way here for Ukan. They're going to make changes as well. Right, our two changes are basically going to be in the midfield because it's been a tiring sort of situation that midfield. So McKinney and Cousin's done really, really well. So now it's down to Williams and Lindquist to, to hopefully to follow on what they two have been doing. Um, but they, they're just literally just tired. That's the reason why I've, I've exchanged them. Gets a great header from Fazio, but it's not the best of clearances. Come on. Oh, it's got through to Kai Havertz. It's a chance. He's gone low. I don't know what he was doing there. He had three players in the box there. Okay, changes being made. Will Hughes going to come on for OK? He had an OK game. <laughs> Chaplin wins the header. It's fallen to Lindquist. Can he get the ball through? Ah, oh, it's going to maybe Benatia and Chaplin were there. Chaplin now steps back inside. Can he pick someone out? It's a great chance. Oh, and he's put it over. Oh no. Oh, that's a great opportunity. Ricarlison is now going to come on for Kai Havertz. Why was he not on from the start? I don't know, Ricarlison. But wow, that's a great opportunity. Unfortunately, it forced our defensive midfielder. And his shooting, as you can see, isn't that good. Oh, of all the people for it to fall into, why did it have to fall to him? Come on, Smith's now up against Hughes. Oh, come on. That's got to be a free kick. Wow. Legs taken away from him. Right, we're into injury time. Um, is it worth bringing a sub on? I have brought a sub on. Whether you're going to get any chances, I don't know. Foden's going to go off. I'm going to put Barco in the cam roll. I'm going to bring Maguire out on the left side. Um, I've also upped the, the pressure, but I think it's a little bit too late. I think um, after this free kick, I think the referee will probably blow his whistle. But I've got another striker in the box, so maybe... You know what I mean? It might do something. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's gonna even going to get to one of my strikers. Because they're just going to do this, I'm sure. Oh, and it's a poor, poor ball in. Oh, dear. Why was that so poor? I don't know why that was so poor. But I'm sure he's going to blow now. Lindquist with it. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Can he get Smits in? It's Connor Chaplin. Knocks this back. Here's Barco, it's back to Chaplin, can he hit this? Oh no, even he's not shooting. But there we go, 
Cats full time. Grinzy fans, they're giving us a round of applause. They, they are, you know, happy. But what a t it's always tough when we play Watford. Even when I'm Liverpool, it's tough. Fair play to Watford. Um, tough side to beat, really are. Um, we just didn't have our shooting boots on. Really didn't have our shooting boots on today. Otherwise, could have been a different story. But yeah, it's not a defeat, you know. But I've got a feeling that we won't be top. I would imagine Manchester United will win. Um, that will put them um, ahead of us by a point. But we'll uh, let's have a look, shall we? Let's see where we're at. Um, as you can see, shooting wasn't. We had the shots, but three only three on target. It just shooting boots were not there today. Um, yeah, was it wasn't wasn't the best in front of goal. And as for man of the match, Connor Chaplin, really, I don't know. Um, I'd give it to Decore to be honest. I thought he had an absolute blinder, um, better than 7.4 by a mile. Um, I thought he was, he plays such him and Klosterman. I felt were were were, Bef were Watford's two best players today. In fact. Out of the two teams, they were the two best players, like, you know what I mean? But there we are. No, Manchester United haven't played. Um, let's have a look. Who are they up against? Manchester United are Ipswich. Oh, they're going to win that. Yeah. Oh, well. Right. Well, anyway, guys, um, next up is the second leg against Sporting Lisbon. Um, we are 2 0 up in that one. So, um, as long as they don't score three goals, then. We should be all right, like you know what I mean, and um, that's the thing. So we'll see how we get on now against Sporting Lisbon, guys. Right then, so here is the team that is going to take on Sporting. It's obviously the, you know, we're concentrating on the on the Premier League, and um, so we're back with our like sort of like second string um, of players, um, which are doing pretty well, like you know what I mean. I'm, you know, like the likes of. Um, Unganyoni and um, like Linquist, you know, and even um, Willock, you know, these youngsters are, are certainly, you know, showing that you know they're not not afraid of the big time and that mean sort of thing. So yeah, they're doing really well. So let's see if we can get ourselves into the semi-finals, shall we? Okay then, right. So we've got a bit of a shadowed area over there, like um, like uh, from the stadium, but I don't know if that caused any problems, but hopefully it won't. So Maguire to get things off and running here. Here's Baku. Campbell goes out onto the wing here, finds Willock. Obviously, Sport and Lisbon have got it all to do, so they'll be probably high pressing, I would imagine. Here's Ongagnoni. Oshilaja. Linquist just lays this into Baku. Willock now. Can you get this through? It's a nice ball into Linquist. Can you pick someone out? It's Ungagnoni, is it? And uh, Linquist can't keep that in, but it's going to go up for a corner. Baku now inside. Here's Linquist now. Got a bit of space there. Can you get Maguire in? It's a good shot, but just rising as he hit it. Linquist now finds Ungagnoni. Can he turn? He gets a turn away. He's gone for it. Oh, again, it's gone over. What? That one, I didn't even. I was finessing it, so I didn't even put power in that. Oh, why is he hitting across it like that? Jeez. Yeah. That's a shame. We get the away goal and we're in control of this game. Totally then. Slavchev knocks it forward. Oh, Linquist does well. Can he get Maguire in? Oh, Quates was there. Here's Uri. Plays it to Balde. Here's Uri. Here's Linquist. Looks for Maguire. Oh, come on. Needed that pass to go into the space, not... Damn it. Oh, and intercepted by Baku. Sometimes that's why I might play manual passing or whatever. Because sometimes it just doesn't pass where you want it to go. Klein has a great turn from him. He's going to lay this into Linquist. Don't know what he's going to be like for crossing, so I'll knock it. Um, okay. I won't knock it back. He'll cross it. What? I knocked that... I pressed that to go back to Willock behind him and he crossed it in. That was um, really bizarre. It's a good run here. I'm not entirely sure who that was from. Here's Fernandez. It's oh it's Iuri. Iuri. I U R R I instead of just U R I. Knocked in. Campbell. Does well to intercept. Baku. Come on, can get the ball out into the wing here. Oh, why is he not running? What is that about? Why is Varda just 
sat there. It's, you're a winger, mate. Why didn't you push on? Then I thought, oh, he had some space on that wing. He could have like, pushed forward. Didn't do it. It's a good ball forward here for Sporting. Fernandez has got him behind, but now Oshelaji will clear up. Here's Baku. Here's Unganyoni. Knocks it into Lindquist. Maybe this time you'll go. Nope. That was a poor ball. I think it was actually maybe intercepted. Ru Patricio now. Duarte. Here's Uri. To Uri. <laughs> Knocked inside. Great interception. Balde now. Here's Uri. Knocked forward. Here's Campbell. Oh, he's being hounded there. Willock now. Cuts it inside. Okay, here's Unganyoni. He finds Baku. We'll play this out to Devlin. Devlin wants Varda to make a run. He's not making them. I don't know what's wrong with him. Lindquist now inside. Here's Baku. He's going to like try and dink this over the top here. Ah, oh, trying to get Kleinheiser in, but it's fallen back to Baku. He's like knocked it back. Ah, oh, Kleinheiser needs to get it out of his feet quicker there. Willock does really well there to intercept that. Okay, Unganyoni's gone out here to try and find Varda, but Miranda's there. Fernandez now. Looks like we're going to have two nil nils at this rate, which is not good for you guys. Um, I do apologise. Oh, intercepted. Baku now. Lays this in. Ang Inganyoni, can he get it out to Varda? This time Varda's made a run. What's he going to do with it? You get a ball in. It's not bad. Oh, and Uri's there though. Can we get ahead on this? Oshalaja does. Okay, Varda tries to turn Akuna. Not able to, but wins it back. Here's Onganyoni. Nice ball into Lindquist. He's just going to pull this back. Once Onganyoni to run. Didn't make it. Now he's got a turn on it. Onganyoni's going to hit this. But Quates managed to get the block and put it out for a corner. So when it comes... To, oh man, he got his leg high there. When it comes to late chances, we've definitely had the better of the chances. Um, but yet again, um, shooting boots are left in the dressing room. Let's go for short. Let's go, let's play it short. We'll play it to Varda. See what he can do from this side. Okay. Varda goes to the edge of the box. Going to hit it first time. Unganyoni hits it. It's a good save. It's a penalty? Mamma Baldi, what's he done here? Is this... I'm sure he's just given a penalty. Lindquist is down on the deck. What's he given this penalty for? Just blocking him off um, okay obstruction really I don't see refs giving that's okay I'll take it I mean it was just literally a bit of obstruction wasn't it I mean alright then let's see what we can do Maguire got a chance here ah oh, Rio Patricio guess the right way what a save this is I put it right in the corner how is he getting this? Man, just guess the right way. Another corner. We'll go long. We'll go deep. Let's see what we can do if we can get one in deep. It's going to fall here to Osha Larger. Ah, oh, it's Quates. Knocks it back to Rio Patricio. And that, I would have thought, is that. No, it's still going. Here's Uri. So, it's still going. There we go. Is it? Half time? Yeah, it is. I thought for a minute he was just giving it for the throw-in then, but yeah, it's our time. I am weird penalty, and then again, and Rue Patricio pulling off a full-stretched save t to, to keep um, Sporting Lisbon in this game. Just going to try and play this out to the other wing. That's not a bad ball, actually. Kleinheisler. Willock, back to Kleinheisler. Maguire's wanting this ball through. It's a good ball through. Maguire, ah, oh, it's a good save from Rio Patricio. Ah, oh, Miranda just gets a clearance on it. Oh, and a lovely cushioned header there from Oshelaja to Baku. Ch oh, all oh, given away. Chance for Varda maybe to get him round the back. Oh, no, well, well defended. Okay, we're going to make um, three changes. Um, Varda is just out of a good game, so Jardim is going to come on. It's gone out for a corner, really? That was definitely like, that was definitely Miranda heading that. Campbell and Baku are also going up because they're tired. Um, so Kerr is going to come on and also Williams in midfield. And um, that's the changes that we've made. Okay, can he pick someone out? It's a good chance. It's Jardim. Oh, so close. Man, what a, what a, st 
He's just come on in place of Varda, and that would have been amazing to just come on and, and headed that in. Kleinheiser now just lays this back. Oh, to Willock, but Mamabaldi, and they are pressing like mad. Literally going for it. Oh, they've hit the bar, and they've put it over. What? I've not seen that before. What? This is... What is going on there? Legendary player, open goal, and he just spooned it over the top. Like, what on earth? Here's Araldes. Unganyoni now. Knocks his forward. Linquist. Can he get the... Oh, I can't get it. Uh, Jardim inside. Oh, every time I get the ball, like, they are literally on me. I can't turn and do anything with it. Right, Devlin. Oh, and that's it. There we go. It's a boring episode, guys. I do apologise. Two nil-nils. Um, but we are through to the semi-finals. Um, in fact, I'm going to play another match. Yeah, I'm going to play another game because... There's not going to be much to show you from these two nil nil, so I'll play another game and hopefully um, what will happen with that is there'll be some goals. If there isn't, then you've got three nil nils, and I do apologise, like you know what I mean. But that's what I'm going to do. Right then, yes, another game for you. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We've found our shooting boots, like you know what I mean, for this one against Bournemouth. Like we'll find out. Um, even if it's not us, if Bournemouth have found their shooting boots as well, because the computer's not scoring either, like, so it's not just me, like, you know what I mean? So, we'll, um, we'll find out who, if, if any goals we get in this one. So, I do apologise, guys, but at least you're going to get another game to see. So, here we go, then, against Bournemouth. Okay, so back to Blundell Park for Saturday's evening kickoff, the 5.30 kickoff here, with the sun slightly starting to set in the background. Um, gives a bit of a um, weird shadow effect. Divakarigi there, playing for Bournemouth. Right, so here we go. Shelby. Looks this forward. He's going to go for a ball over the top here, trying to get Smits in behind. He's a good first touch. It's not... Ah, oh, he's on his wrong foot. So, but Barco, and how has that stayed out? How has Begovic saved this? Man. Crossing with his wrong foot there. Oh, he's just straight... It's like... Why is he just straight at him? Come on, Barco. Cousins now. That's what I need him to do. Oh! Nearly. Connor Chaplin went low down, but it took a deflection off Aki. Begovic was out of position, but the deflection actually went over the bar. Play it short. Now get a ball in. Come on, chuck it! Oh, he did as well. Barco diving header. But Begovic was there. Come on, gonna have to go back. Garnier now, get the ball in. It's a good ball in. Oh, Begovic, Jesus. Why is he still playing? He should be about 90 by now. Get off! Jesus, Aki was like, got all the like, coups on then. I couldn't get Buddy away from him. It's like holding on to him. Go to Garnea. Right, Garnea now. Get a ball in. Nice, Cousins, hit it! Oh, how has he saved it? Come on! How has he saved that? Oh, man. That's a great header and save. Ah, oh, ball's not good. Chaplin has won it. Oh, typical! Chaplin wins the ball. Referee thinks, nope, not having you running away, whatever. Oh, I'm going to blow for half time. God damn it. Well, we've definitely had glorious opportunities, but Begovic has, has denied us. As you can see, better on target, five out of six. Begovic has saved all five of them. And, and they've not been two bad efforts as well like to be fair especially that header from Cousance you know what I mean that header from Cousance should have been in like how has he saved it I do not know right gone back here to Garnea maybe get Barco in from this side what can he do a bit more tricks about him oh he's done well come on pick someone out Barco pick him out what is going on with this game no way is he hitting this over what is that? That is just so scripted. It is unreal. I like. I worked it through. I picked him out. All he's got to do is side foot it into the bottom corner, and he's done some weird wobbly fucking jelly legs or whatever, and like and smacked it over the bar. Like you know what I mean? It's just a. Like, that is just well scripted crap. Like you know what I mean? That is unreal. Bournemouth pinned back in their own box here. McKinney. It's fallen to Cousins. Deflected. Smiths. Ah. Oh. Bloody hell, ref. Come on. Chaplin, come on, Barco, through. Oh, he's overhit it. I mean, come on. 
Right, triple change for us. Eddie Howe's making obviously his change, but triple change for us. Um, Foden's going to drop back into the midfield. Barco's going to go into the cam. And Maguire's going to go out on the left. And then Kerr is going to go in to replace um, Fazio at the back. Here's Barco. Oh, and he's lost the ball. What's he doing? Trent Alexander Arnold. Oh, that's straight to the Begovic. What is that, Trent? Smith. Chance. Joe Gomez. Oh, no. It's still Joe Gomez. Oh, my God. What's he doing up there? I didn't push him up there. He's still up there from the corner. What's he doing? He's still here. Joe McGomez is pushing on. Here's Maguire now. Can you get a good ball in? It's a chance shot. Oh, come on. It's going to fall here. Chance. Oh, my God. Begovic is saving everything. And then Foden puts it wide. I mean, come on. This game is ridiculous. Pick someone out. Chance. Blasted. Oh, come on. Cut back. Oh, he's done well. Maguire, he's still going. He's still going. Chaplin's held him up. He's finished. Oh, did you see Chaplin hold Ake up? Ake was trying to come across to him and Chaplin held him up. Maguire's come on and he scored. Oh, wow. Watch this here. Look at where Chaplin is in the middle. He just holds Ake up from coming across to close it down. And somehow that pathetic shot got past Begovic. I have no idea how that one has got past him where all the other ones he's managed to save. Chaplin. Come on. Chance. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, my God. Foden now. Lays this into Trent Alexander-Arnold. Can he get a good ball in? It's not bad. It's Maguire. Oh, my God. This guy's just changed this game completely. Oh, my God. That's how you head a ball. Watch this. He just comes across inside the, the, the full back, the right back, and has just gone, thank you very much. And... Begovic, you're not saving that. He's basically saying, boss, play me. Um, yeah, I think I will. Because even though he's a striker, he can play on that left wing and he's just coming in from that left and he's striker instincts. And it's there. Three points. Blundell Park is rocking, guys. Wow. That was an awful for the last five minutes was an awful game it was so awful the way it was so scripted is unreal Begovic didn't get man of the match or oh, you know what I mean I mean Maguire probably will get it but look at that 16 shots 9 on target 15 minutes play scores 2 goals Begovic should not be getting a 7.4 he saved 11 I mean the guy should be getting a 9 why does that why does EA not do that why is the opposition team always get like crap scores like doesn't make any sense if you don't win you get crap scores and you, you can you can still put in a really good performance and not win a match and Begovic did that yeah Manchester United win uh, yeah five games to go then guys and all they have to do is they have to just win their five games and it's there you know what I mean so we're going to miss out by a point by the looks of it and um, those two, well, obviously the Sporting Lisbon one wasn't the issue. The Watford was the issue. Getting that draw could cost could cost us the title, possibly. Since he went to double figures, he's not scored. He's just literally gone off the boil. I don't understand why. But, mm, we've got to find his shooting boots if we're to keep the pressure on Manchester. Liverpool up to third. What the hell? I've only just noticed that. You guys probably like screaming at me, saying, like, look, Dave, Liverpool are third. What? Where have they suddenly just come from? Like twelve losses. They were like they were they were so they were so poor, weren't they? They went on that awful run. But they are now third. This game is so messed up, isn't it? It is so messed up. I mean That doesn't make any sense how they could be third. But there we go. Take it easy guys. Like the video if you don't mind, that'd be awesome. Um tell your friends all about it and um I'll catch you next time. Stay from Imonga Gaming. Signing off. Cheers.